hey guys welcome back to my channel this is wealth is freedom budgets and today we are back for another cash stuffin we are going to get started we have a lot to do today because i have a couple things i want to show you guys i want a giveaway i'm like so excited i want to show you guys what i want and i did i do have um a couple new things into my shop um so i want you guys to see that as well so let's get started we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven hundred And let's see, we have 51, 52, 53, 54, so plus 400, and we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. So, plus 600. And then we have, let's see if I can smooth out this money. Let's see what we have for 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30. So that's 130. I got a whole bunch of ones to count. I'm not looking forward to it. But my binder does need the ones. So. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. And Kadoka plus 85. And who child? Ugh, Lord have mercy. Let's look at all these ones. Look at all these ones. I'm gonna break them up a little bit. So it's too much. Let's see. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll try. I'm never getting that much ones again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These ones are a mixture of grossness and crispy clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Whew, I want to quit already. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen plus fourteen. So we will be cashed off in two thousand three hundred and seventy six dollars today. But before I get into the video, okay, guys, I want to show you. I won a giveaway from Panam. I hope I'm saying it right. Panam Budgets. Um. Um, she's on YouTube. She had her giveaway and I she chose seven winners. I was one of the seven and let me tell you I am like so excited um, It is a one of those savings jar the acrylic savings jar that you have to break to open it and it has like the um, I you know, I get to pick something from her shop. So I chose the $20 savings um, tracker and if I complete the tracker, this is going to be $7,980. I'm really excited. I'm so excited to start. And you know what? She put this beautiful touch. Look at this thing that she put in there. It says, Dear Keisha, congratulations on winning my 7K giveaway. I hope you like your gift. I can't thank you enough for supporting me. Panam Family Budgets. 
Okay, guys, so go check out her site on with on um, Etsy. She has the cutest, cutest things. Just very creative and very cute. I love watching her cash stuff in videos. Like she just has like the most beautiful background. Um, you know, when she's doing her videos and love her stuff. So yay. Just wanted to show you that. I also want to show you guys a couple of things that I made with my Cricut. So I've been spending money left, right, and center from my um business binder. And I got my Cricut. If you've been watching me, I announced that I got my Cricut and I made this a beautiful uh decal um straight out of money and this is like a teal color so on my etsy shop i don't have a lot available and then this one is blue so it's the same thing just two different colors and i also made this one that says beer on sugar daddy this is my favorite beer on sugar daddy okay so check it out and guys don't forget that my shop has been launched the link is going to be down below and i still have my etsy shop i have not closed that so um just wanted to say that so we are going to get started you know what let's get started with bills let's get started with bills let's do bills first i don't do my wallet but let's get this to bills let's do bills um lord have mercy so nope 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 what am i doing it's not my business binder it's my sinking fund binder so this is my bills binder i was like that looks funny so we are going to start with bills and i'm just going to go to audible Let's find me my audible um envelope i don't even know if i should cancel that subscription because i have so much books on audible um that i haven't like listened to so i don't know we'll see so audible is going to be getting 40 dollars today and today is the 22nd and we are going to be depositing 40 so with the 40 we had 14 so that should be uh 54 dollars and i need my little pencil so I have a little budget binder over here. Okay, so 40 books. And I'm gonna try to like let's see, we're gonna do a 20, a 10, a five, and five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see. One, two, whoop. 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 40. So let's see if we have $54 in here. 54, 54, 20, 30, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, wait. 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Lord, that did not need to be complicated. I'm not sure why I did that. So Audible has $54. Next, we're going to go to Navient, which is a student loan. Um, need you all know and that is gonna be i think they deferred it again until october or november or something of the sort so this um navia is going to be getting 170 dollars so we have 9 20 23 yep and we are going to be depositing 170 so we have 187 Navian plus 170. So that should bring us to 357. I have not made a payment as yet. Um, even though student loan was on deferral, my job has been paying in consistently every month for me. So 
technically I haven't like skipped anything. I gotta check to see what my balance is, but I haven't made a payment yet. I'm not gonna make a payment until the official date starts. So 357, let's see if we have 357. We have 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 320, 30, 40, 55, 6, and 7. So 357. And this is um, way more than what my payment is going to be because I did take a look to see what my payment amount is. Though I forgot. It's on my bill tracker. But it's way more. But I'm going to keep stuff in it. So when the time comes. Um, Sally Mae is um, another student loan. And Sally Mae is going to be getting 120 today. Sally Mae has 20 in there. So we're going to be putting 100 and um, a 10, a 5, 1, 17, 19, 20. So we should have 140 in Sally Mae. Let's see. I'm just gonna update my tracker. So we're gonna put so it's 923. We are going 22. I don't know. 120. So we should have 140. My payment for this is 114 and change, but I like you know, yeah. 120, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 140 in Sally May. You get paid, you gotta stuff the bills first. Take care of the bills. Well, pay yourself first. Summer program. Listen, I'm just preparing for next year for my daughter when she's out of school for the summer because let me tell you, these summer programs be hella expensive. It's nice to have a head start. So summer programs gonna be getting $30. It is gonna have a head start. Because no child. Mm -mm. So summer program had 115. So I don't even know what day today is. I don't give her out 20, oh, 22nd. Let me keep her in 23rd. Um, so we, I had 115. And then we're going to put in. So it should be 145 if I did this correctly. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to have a head start because it takes the pressure off trying to suddenly have this additional bill that just hit you out of nowhere. You got to make it work. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 145. Yeah, I added this to my bills. Like I've add, you know, I've put like 60 bucks for summer program every month to, and I, I treat it like a bill because... If I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be stuffing it. Then it, next thing you know, the time come, come around, I don't have enough money done. Uh, my mom is going to be getting $105. I did give her, I'm going to tell you. I, my, look at this. Look at this hot mess. My sister's $41. It's just sitting here. I'm surprised she's still, you know, don't disown me as a sister. You know, this has been like two cash stuff and this money is still sitting there. Up to now, I haven't gotten her what I said I was going to do. So, what is it? Yeah, so I did. Um, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah. I did give her. Oh, I did. Um, just let me know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, on the 11th, I did give her 150 so she's gonna be getting 105. She has 140 in there. So with the 105, that should be 240, 245. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even like have an excuse. And I think my sister forgot because she hasn't said anything to me. Like, she hasn't reminded me. Normally, she would remind me. Like, she didn't. So, but she's been crazy busy as well. So, who knows? I don't know, guys. 
So let's see if we have 245 for my mom. 1, 2, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 245 for my mama. If you're new to my channel, this is a just because. My mom's retired. She does anything I want her to do. Even when I don't even ask, she got my back. So, you know, I got to add her to my budget. Math Altitude is going to be getting um, $80. Math Altitude is a after school math program that my daughter um, is in. Uh, if I can find it. And here it is. So it's getting 80. Let's see. Okay. It has 102. So we'll be getting 80. So we're going to do a 50, a 20, 75. And then we're going to go 6, 7, 8, 9. And 10. See what I'm trying to do, guys? I am trying to add some ones to these envelopes because what I find is that when I go to pull money out, um, sometimes it's hard. 182 to for the exact change. I'm like trying to make change and I go to you know pay my bill, pull money out to pay the bills. So I'm just trying to make sure I have some ones, is always a problem. So let's see if we have 182. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 175, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, and 82. So 182. Um, this is also more than enough to pay the bill. But we're going to keep stuff in. It's nice to have a little buffer. m &A. Ugh. This is a bill that, yeah, has no purpose. But I'm required to pay it. This Mass Nurses Association is empty. Because I just paid it. And it's going to be getting 40 And, yeah, I'm just going to do... 220s for it. So deposits 40. So we have 40. And this is $75 every month. I have to pay this bill. And next, my daughter's tuition is going to be getting $360. So it's one, two, and three. She's going to be getting a 50, a 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 360. And let me find it. She goes um, to a private school. So let's see. So she has 360 in here. So 9, 20 second, and that's 360 plus 360, $720 is what should be in here. And we are going to check to see if we have $720. All right, let's see. Let's put this in order. there all right should be good let's see if we have 720 so it's one two three four five fifty six fifty six fifty six seventy six ninety seven ten fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so that is correct so seven hundred and twenty dollars um, in her tuition envelope. Alrighty. Parent savings. 
Yeah, my sister's so busy that she's not even tracking me down because even though we talk on the phone every day because this is another thing I have not sent her anything. That is going to be getting $35. Um, so if you're new to my channel, so parent savings, we have a high yield. Did I say 35? Yeah. We have a high yield savings account. It has $175 in there. 175 plus 35. Um, so sh it should have 210. So we have a high yield savings account um, that my sister created for my parents. Um, and so every month we each put $60 in the high yield savings account. Um, and this money is an emergency savings for my parents, pretty much. Um, we haven't had to use it because if they need anything, my sister and I will, we take care of it. So we haven't needed to go into that emergency savings for them, but it's still sitting there. 50, so it should have 210, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. 130, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 205, 210. And so as you can see, by this amount, I have not sent her a payment in a few. And she's very organized. She keeps track, so she can tell me exactly down to the penny how much I owe her. Because typically what she'll do, she'll pay the bill and then I give her the money back. Um, clearly she's not doing a very good job of tracking me down to get her money back. So, you know what? She's going to get it when she get it. No, I'm just kidding. She's awesome. All right. Regis College is this debt lure that's going to be done. And I was like hoping it was going to be the end of September, but it's not. It's October. So, but that's okay. October is right around the corner. So this is going to be 140. I can, I'm just dreaming of what I'm going to do with this money when I no longer have to stuff this envelope. So this bill should be done by the end of October. And I am so looking forward to making my last payment. So we are putting in 140. We have a balance of 140. This is a school bill. All right. And then... Amazon Music is going to be getting $30. So it has $65. I need some ones for this one for sure. We're going to go to the five and we're going to go two, three, four, and five. So 30. I'm just going to see how much we have in here now. So it has 65 plus 30. Yeah, so it should be 95. $95. And it's 9.22. Let's see if we have 95. Um, so we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. And for Amazon Music, it's, I don't know, like, 30 something, 40 something. I gotta look back on my bills thing. I'm gonna start writing them on top of the tracker. But I do have it on my bills tracker. Um, so this is definitely more than one payment. Charlotte Klein is where my daughter does her dance lessons. And this is gonna get 50 bucks. It has a hundred and I think I'm gonna need some one. So let's put some change in this envelope. So we're gonna do 40, 45, and then, did I say short up times getting 50? Yeah. One, two, uh, three, four, and five. So that's why I got all those ones. Because then one, two, three, four, five. Because when I go to unstuff my bills, from the you know bills binder i don't do it on camera it's just way too chaotic um i struggle with finding ones when i want to make exact change so i was like you know what let me just get a bunch of ones 
from the bank so that way I can have you know everybody can have at least five so we have 20 40 60 70 80 1 10 20 1 20 20 25 no that don't make any sense okay that doesn't make any sense let's go so we have it should have 150 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 40 okay 45 46 47 48 8 49 and 50 yes 150 okay so 150 and then canva pro so i'm gonna have a little bit of money left over in here guys because i calculated some of my business expenses in this which i should not that money should have come from my business binder, so I'm not going to stuff it. So that's going to be extra. So Canva Pro, I'm not going to... Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, okay, Canva Pro is the next one, so I'm not, that shouldn't be there. Um, Orthofy, Orthodontist, is going to be getting $75. So that's going to be a... 50, a 20, and a 5. So that should be um, 150. Huh. Let's see. So 9, 20 second. Deposit 75. So 150. So let's see what we have. If we have 150, 51, 20, 40, 45, and 50. Okay, so 150 in Orthofy. This is for my Invisalign. Um, car insurance is going to be getting 75. So we're going to go with a 20. I mean, a 50 is 70. We're going to go get some ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Look at that. I was complaining about all the ones earlier. And I am definitely putting them to use to the point where I feel like we might be short on ones. All right, let's see. Oh, car insurance is in the back, if I remember correctly. Here it is. So we just added 75. So it's 922nd. We're depositing 75. And so we had. We have not had, we have 182 in the envelope plus the 75, so that's 257. So let's see if that is correct. Let's see if we have $257 in here. Um, this is another envelope that has a good amount. This is more than two payments. My car insurance is like 106. So I have two plus payments in here, but I'm going to keep stuff in it. Nonetheless, 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep stuff in it. I don't like leaving my envelopes like down to like the bare minimum, especially the bills. Cause I don't know. I'm just, I'm just always thinking like, what if, you know, I don't know. You can't hurt to somehow it's ahead. I'm just going to keep it ahead. I'm keep stuffing it. So then no teak. They should be coming out with their next subscription tech like every quarter. Um, so I guess it's going to be interesting to see what we're going to be getting. So no teak is a binder planner budgeting um site so it has let's see so it's to 25 um six seven and eight let's see if i'm gonna have enough um ones to finish my cash stuff in because it looked like it was a lot of ones 28 and 28 was 56. So we should have 56. And this I pay 
uh, $49 every month. Not yet yeah, every month. The subscription is at $49 every month. And our um, September is already paid for. So we have 56. So we already have enough for um, for October. Until by the time the time come around October, we're going to have more than this because I'm keep stuffing it every week. 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 50, uh, 4, 55, and 56. So $56. Okay. In the cheek. And the last bill that we're stuffing today is going to be our Apple bill. And that is going to be getting $25. And Apple has $25. And we're going to add $25. And that should be $50. And I'm definitely going to need to add some ones because I know when I go to pay it, I'm going to want small change. So we have one. Look at these ones. Jesus. Two, three, four, and five. So let's see if we have 50 bucks here. So we have 20. We have 40 and five. Let's count 20, 45. Six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. So fifty dollars in Apple, and that's all we're stuffing for our bills binder. I'm not um doing month ahead this check, so she is nice and a thick. All right, so let's go to debt. Let's go to debt. And let's stuff our debt binder. So if you're new to my channel, the way I do, I have a binder. They're all my cards. Credit cards are considered debt, in my opinion. So, yeah. It doesn't go in bills. It goes into my debt binder because, you know, it's not my money. It's owed. Um, and so I use my card every week. And um, I don't use all my cards at once. But sometimes I use one. Sometimes I use multiple. It depends. And then I pay it back every week. So tolls, obviously it's not a credit card, but tolls is in here. Because I don't have an easy pass, so they usually bail me. So I consider that a debt. There should be a bill, but whatever, I have it in debt. So that's empty. Capital One is the only card that I'm carrying a balance at this point in time. And I had zero balance on all my credit cards. I've just paid them off every week as soon as I spend it. But then I went to my niece's wedding in Jamaica in August and girl went crazy and I was not 100% financial. I was probably like 30% financially prepared, even though I knew about this wedding a whole year ahead. Um, yeah, so I did kind of like went cuckoo crazy with my card. So I owe, I have two Capital One cards and both of them are over $1,000. One's like 1900 and something. One's a little bit less than that, but still. So, yeah, I haven't created a plan yet to pay that, but I will. So, Captain One's going to be getting $100. Um, I have a plan in my head. I just haven't put it on paper yet. Um, and then, Chase. I owe $90 on Chase because I went uh, spending on Amazon. So we're going to be paying that $90, which is going to bring my Chase card to a zero balance. And holes. Um, I bought a pajama for my daughter using my Kohl's card. No, I'm lying. Did I buy the pajama? Or a sweater? I don't know. Where is it? Um, but because I, I use my um, are you kidding me? Where is she? Where is my postcard? Oh, here it is. So, um, anyway, my bill I'm gonna be putting $15 that will bring my card to a zero balance. It is less than 15, um, but I always round up. Always round up, always pay a little extra on my credit cards. So, um, I round up to the point where 
last month not last month a couple months ago or less than two months ago my coast card had a credit of 60 bucks because i you know i think i think this was like 12 or 11 dollars on change i'm like 15 um and it, you know i ended up like got some stuff and i didn't have to pay like the full price because i had like a credit on my card so um, and then I am going to be putting, uh, let's do my check-in buffer. So my check-in buffer is going to be getting $35. So $35 into my check-in buffer. Let's do this. Um, is it $35? Did I do this right? Yes, $35 into my check-in buffer. Um, I have two checking accounts, so this is not my bills account because my bills account, not my bills account, the account that my paycheck comes into, I leave the buffer in there off my check. This is another checking account that I have, um, and I try to build a buffer in it little by little. So I'm gonna put thirty-five dollars to build that buffer, and um, I might as well just do this. So that's it for my debt binder. So that's it for that. Um, then we are gonna be putting twenty dollars into income increase. I got a little extra on a check recently and i decided to you know they said the more money you make the more you spend try not to do that because that's what i've done my entire life so i was like you know what i roughly rounded it i think next time if i get an increase i'm gonna work it down to the pennies but i, I don't know i just picked around the number i'm like okay i'm making 20 bucks more um it's a little bit more than that not much more but it's, it's more than that for sure um and so I am trying to see if I save that 20 every single paycheck. Like, you know, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. How much I'd have for the year. And I, I had more money in here. When I started it, I had a good amount. I ended up, like, using it. So I decided to restart it. So that's it for this. And like I said, there's going to be some money left over because I'm sure I pulled more money from the bank than I was supposed to. I'm like positive I did. Now we are going to do my wallet. And listen, guys, per usual, it's empty. I never have anything left over in my wallet. These wallets are available on my website and my Etsy shop if you're interested. So I played around the numbers and I have done some increasing because i just i need to i need to you're gonna see okay spending is going to get a hundred dollars so it's gonna get a 50 and the reason i went up to a hundred is because like i don't know like um i feel deprived so 50 70 90 come on and you should do a budget that's gonna work for you right i feel deprived I feel really deprived. Um, if I want something small, I can't get it. Because once I do my budget, I try not to backtrack. And I'm like, yeah, I can afford to give myself. I'm not like I want to spend it all. Whatever I've left over, I try to save. But I'm going to try it and see. Gas has gone up since the last cash stuff in. Um, 20, 40, 60. Gas is now ninety-five dollars, seventy, eighty, ninety, and five. Because my daughter is in school, and now you know we have to drop her off, pick her up. Forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety-five, and so yeah. So gas definitely needs to be getting more gas. So that has increased, and you're gonna love this. I also increased my grocery budget. I did. I used to do like, oh, pickups and we'd use the card. And I'm thinking that um, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna start cash stuff in grocery and see instead of using the card because I find that I am going over budget when I use a card. I am. Um, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm having the buffer and checking account um, eat the cost, but I want to try cash and see. So I'm going to play around with it. So we, I decided let's just do um, grocery $100 and see how that works. Eat out also went up. I am taking my, it's fall. There's fears. There's like, you know, where we live, where I live, fall is, you know, it's like a lot of festivities. I'm taking, taking I'm taking my daughter berry picking tomorrow with another parent and a former classmate of hers. And yeah, the spending. And I, I want to be happy. I want to live my life. I, I want to do a budget. I manage my money. So I also want to have fun and live my life. So yeah, I'm just I don't want to feel deprived. We'll see. Self household is not getting anything. Miscellaneous is not getting anything. Self care is going to be getting fifty five. Fifty five. So now we're going to run into a problem. Hopefully not. Let me not jinx it. So self care is going to be getting fifty five. Yeah, it's a fall season. We have fairs and all that kind of stuff to go do. And I just want to be able to go get myself some pumpkin latte. Nails is going to be getting 15. So, yeah. Yeah, so I decided to increase it. It is what it is. And like I said, I never picked up more money from the bank than I was supposed to. I just couldn't. I didn't work out the math properly, but that's okay because that money's gonna go right back into the bank. So my wallet is a fully stuffed. Isn't she cute? Love her. Um, I have it in the beige too. I think I might switch out to the beige pretty soon. Um, and oh, sinking funds. So almost forgot sinking funds. So my 10k challenge is gonna be getting $38. So we're going to be circling, coloring this 38. I'm going to be heavily stuffing this pretty soon. I'm just doing it slowly for now. But, um, and I'm going to make change. I'm going to make change because I need to. So let's see. If I did 100 minus 38... So $62. I'm gonna pick up a hundred. And then I gotta put back 62. So that's two. And it's 20, 40, and 60. Yep. So 62 is going back. And so let's see. So we do the math. So we have 5,662 plus 38, so oh, 5, 7. So 5,700 is what we should have. Did I miss this the last time? Huh. I don't think I did a tracker because I don't see... The numbers for last cash stuff in on here. Let's see. So let's see how much we have. So we have 5,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, um, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 695, 96, 97, 98, 99. Yeah. So. Yeah, 5,700. I guess I did not put anything in last week. That's fine. And then my manifest is going to be getting $9. So let's give it all the ones. So we have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's see again. One. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. So manifest gets nine. I need to put a tracker in here. I don't have a tracker yet. Let me do it off camera. Um, new tire is going to be getting 50. So let's see. We're going to put a... I pick up 100. We're going to put the 50 down. So let's add the 50. So it's 922. We are going to deposit 50. And we have, let's see, we have 369 plus 50. So $419. My goal for this envelope is a thousand. Once it gets to a thousand, I'm going to stop aggressively stuffing it and move on to another sinking fund to aggressively stuff. So let's see if we have 419. We have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 94, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 419. So we have 519. $81 left to go before we can stop stuff in this. And then Christmas, right around the corner, is going to be getting 50. So Christmas gets 50. I'm going to add this 50 here to Christmas. And Christmas has 1075 Also didn't put anything in here last paycheck, but that's okay. Um, so it's ten seventy five plus fifty. So it should be eleven twenty five. Um let's see what we have. One thousand one hundred twenty five in Christmas. So we have five hundred to represent money that's in the bank. 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 1,000, 1,050, 1,070, 1,090, 1,110, 115, 120, 121, 22, 23, 24, and 125. So that is correct. $1,125 in Christmas. Our goal is 2,000. I'm not giving up a hope. I really am not. Um, we still can make it. I am going to fight tooth and nail to the end. I'll say I'll stop. I'll take this money out and start shopping for Christmas stuff like December 1st. And then start working on Christmas 2024 on December 1st. And whatever I have in this binder on the last day of November is what I'm going to be in my christmas budget too and so uh, that concludes our cash stuff in for today we are all done and let's see how much money i have to bring back to the bank because i took out too much so this money's going to go back to the bank so let's see what we got um we have 20 40 60 81, 25, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. $131 going back into my check-in buffer because I took out too much. Have a, a wonderful weekend, guys. Wherever you are, stay safe. Have fun. I am loving fall and I'm obsessed with pumpkin spice latte. So... Tomorrow when I take my daughter berry picking, I am going to, you know, have me a pumpkin latte. Have one for yourself too. Love you guys so much. See you until next time. Bye.